Hello and welcome. If you like today's tutorial, please like and subscribe, it really helps. Today I want to explore the implementation of opacity masks on metahuman heads. This will include removing their necks and interesting effects like this. We begin today's tutorial inside Unreal Engine and this is our base metahuman head. I simply remove the body from the blueprint and this is what we have remaining. But the first thing I want to explore is opacity mass that will be used to remove the neck and chest of this character. To begin, select our character, come over here, hit edit blueprint and this is the blueprint that I am working with today. As you can see I've just removed the body. You don't have to do this, it just makes it simpler for the tutorial. Next, come over to the eye element and choose the eye you want to work on. In this case, I want to work on the left eye. So I will click here and I have already created the material called blank eye. If I select that, the eye goes dark. Let me open up that blank eye material. Inside this material, I have a color, which is not quite black, and then a scalar parameter controlling the roughness, currently set to 0.133. This creates the black looking glass eye. Next, we need to click on this top element, M head synthesized. This is where we will control our material. Scroll down to the bottom, and usually with a metahuman, there is another material instance. Click on that material instance, here it is opened up. Scroll all the way down to the bottom again to find the parent material. Here is the parent material. On my finished metahuman, although it is a little messy, this is what I have. I have an opacity mask texture and an opacity mask that I've used to control a, the color. I will break down how this works. Click on your result node. Go to blend mode and ensure it is set to masked. This will give you your opacity mask pin. Next, right click, type in texture, parameter 2D, Name this, as I have here, Opacity Mask. I have a white placeholder material uh, texture sorry, already attached. All this does is just ensures that our Opacity Mask is not doing anything at this time. I will cover that more in a moment. Then, if we go up here, what I have is another Texture 2D a color and that goes into a linear interpolate and then into our base color. The original material was like so. I held down control, I dragged and put into the B of my lerp. The color goes into the A and the opacity mass color goes into alpha. Drag the lerp into base color. And now we have a setup where we have both an opacity mask and a way to control where color shows on our metahuman. Let me show you what this does. First, I have created those texture 2D parameters. So now they show up in my main material instance. Here, as you can see, is extra color, which is the name of this node. Here is opacity mask, which is here. And opacity mask color is here. 
Currently, they are both set to white, which means they're not being used. Let's see what happens when I add an opacity texture to our opacity mask. Hit save, and then go back and look at our metahuman. As you can see, the neck has been removed. One more time, let me remove this. Hit save and go back. There is our neck and our chest again. So let's go back and set the opacity mask to opacity 2, I think in this case. And what this is, if I open up the texture, is just simply a black and white texture. Wherever there is black, the opacity is 0. Wherever it is white, the opacity is 100. So here, this will not be visible, whereas anything white will be visible. Now to explain why this texture is the way it is, we need to go to our metahumans and find our, in this case, our face texture, which is this. Now, if you can imagine, in an external image editing program like Photoshop or GIMP, you would take this image as a guide. And then as you can see, it will be black at the bottom and white at the top. So down here is the chest and the neck. And up here is the top of the head and the sides of the head. So if we take a look at the opacity mask again, as you can see, it simply cuts off the bottom underneath the chin. And it is simple as that. And this is very easy to create in your favorite photo editing software. And again, the result of this particular opacity mask is that it chops off at the chest all the way up to here. Let's move on to using this technique for colors. Back in our material instance, I also have this opacity mask color, which if we go back to our master material, is here. This goes into the alpha of the lerp, mixing our skin color with whatever color is chosen here. Here it is here. I have it set to a light pink. If we set this texture to an opacity mask, in this case I created this one, hit save, and as you can see it's coloured half of the face and the neck this colour. If we go back and we look at the opacity mask, here, this is what it's made up of. So similar to the other one, it has down here where the neck would be black, but then half of the face is also black. When that is fed into this alpha, it will mean that this color will appear wherever that black is. Let's go back and look. There we go. And also on the neck, look, is now a different color. And with this, we can change the color, make it green. Let's go back. And it is simply that easy to add custom effects. To show another example of this, I have this texture. I've created some white circles in there just to emphasize my point. If we go back to our material instance, if I go to our opacity mask color and I find this texture, opacity circles, 
hit save and then we go back to our character as you can see wherever those white circles are in this instance skin shows through let's see if you can see better from this side and in our editor window if I go back so as you can see you can create some interesting effects with this so you just play around with it if you found this tutorial helpful today please like and subscribe it really helps more tutorials are on the way thanks for watching